Oh yes, a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome back to Sid Squad. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, really nice to have all of your company here on the uh, the show tonight. You're hanging out with uh, Kurt and Brendan on the show tonight. How are you, Brendan? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to have your hello. company, mate. Thank you for having me. We're still setting a few things up here, so we're just kind of, yeah, we're kind of just, well, we're starting a little bit earlier than we scheduled. <laughs> and, um, we haven't got everything in order, but uh, anyway, here we go. We've got the, uh, the Emirates cargo now departing, uh, three, four left. Come on, get up, son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, looks good from here. There you go, our Emirates friends out the door. Yes, uh, welcome back. Hey, Jeremy Zink is there. G'day, Jeremy. Justin's here. Fantastic. Hello, B Rad. Hello, y'all. Hopefully, uh, everybody is enjoying uh, the uh, the show so far. Big Bear Ray is here. Started the morning with Sid Squad, finishing the day with Sid Squad. And uh, how, how good is that? <laughs> I wouldn't want to have it any other way. <laughs> what a stream it was this morning. Oh, it was a great stream this morning, oh, wasn't yeah. it? I was watching it before I headed to work. And, uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic stream yeah. by Tim. Absolutely. Very well done. Hopefully the uh, the audio and the visuals are A-OK -okay, uh, for you tonight so far. Uh, everything seems to be running OK our end. Um, but let us know if there's any hiccups. Michael Cadell is there in the chat. Hello. Lockie and Angie are here as well. Lovely to have your company. Uh, hello there, Henry. How are you, mate? 
Hey, Jack, the lads. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Corey Gold's breaking out, Corey. How are you, mate? Uh, so landing here is uh, Qantas 7.46 in from Radelaide, the 737-800. Beautiful, beautiful. Paul Newman, g'day, mate. How are you there? Penguin Gaming, hello there. What hot chicken roll? There's a good name. Jenny Sadler's back. G'day, Jenny. How are you? Lovely to have your company. Appreciate you being here tonight. Nicholas F is there. G'day, Nick. Hey, Dingo. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we're just out here doing a bit of plane spotting tonight. Local time now. What is the local time? 9.20 p.m. And uh, we're going to go through till curfew. Assuming all the uh, all the tech stays up and running for us, uh, we we should be out here until curfew. Yeah, uh, refueler just coming into the chat here saying good day, Curtin Stocker from Perth. Cheers for the hour oh, of power, boys. Love it. Good day, refueler. Lovely to have your company Thanks, here mate. on the show tonight. Hopefully you're doing well, mate. Tony Bovard, hi, Kurt. How are you, Tony? Lovely to have your company, and uh, appreciate all your support already. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a message coming in from uh, Jack Edmondson, Sound and Vision 5x5. Five five. Good on you, Jack. Seven months in the lodge. Love it. Lena Lena's up there in the Bondi Beach Cabana for eight months. And uh, Game Day Live is here as well for seven months in the cabana. Happy anniversary to all of you. Appreciate you being here tonight. Roger S., good evening. Andrew Chan, good evening. Jimmy Wong, hello there. Bacon Plays. Ashley's in the chat. Big shout out to all the moderators tonight. Tracy Rigney's there. Hello, Tracy. Really nice to have your company on the show tonight as well. Davey just saying in the chat there, I'm currently on Velocity uh, 1537 <coughs> from Hobart, landing in Ooh. 50 minutes. All right. We'll we might. try and shine in the yeah, windows. Yeah, well, get the lo oh, Okay, good. Are you on the uh, the left-hand side of the uh, of the aircraft, are you? Is that is that what the go is there? You'll have, have to let us know. Now, you might be asking, you, you may not be asking, maybe you don't care, maybe you're happy either way. Uh, why is Sid Squad set up where they're currently set up? Why are they watching the planes from the beach location tonight? Well, it's a good question. It's a fair question. And I, uh, I said to Brendan, I said, do you fancy a road trip? <laughs> <laughs> exactly how you worded it, yeah. No, we, um, the runway configurations today are uh, such that it is runways three, four left for arrivals which is what we've just seen, an aircraft coming in on 3-4 left. And it is 1-6 left for departures tonight. So that is uh, happening over there. Now, I've actually got to... I actually should check the ATIS to see if it is still sod props. Uh, so let's, let's do a quick check on that. Zero degrees, six knots. Cav OK. Temperature, one niner. QNH 1010. On first contact with Sydney, ground or approach, notify receipt of Lima. Time check 1122.5. Sydney, terminal information, Lima. Runway 34 left for arrivals. Runway 16 left for departures. Ah, yep. Runway 34 left available for departure if operationally required or as directed by ATC. Stop bus. God, where the dash eight go? Oh, it's long. Operating at five zero percent. So there you go. So there it's clear that um, we've got um, runway 34 left in operation, which is for all our landings. So if we just pan the camera around to the southern end of the field out here, we can see a couple of them stacked up, lining, lining up to come in. So runway 34 left. Landing and then runway 16 left, departing. So flying in over the bay and then flying out over the bay. So all the ops are down here at the moment. So we took the option to come down here and just do something different for the show tonight and uh, watch all the heavies depart uh, from this vantage. And we're loving it. The winds are calm tonight so far. I think we've got a, a crosswind of about five or eight knots. So uh, we've got the, uh, the Fiji Max coming in now. Yeah, so I think it's going to be pretty calm conditions uh, here tonight, which suits me to a T, to be honest. Uh, neither myself or Brendan are, are currently wearing a, a jumper or a hoodie or anything like that. So <laughs> That's for sure. It's quite pleasant out here tonight, which is great. And, you know, it gives us the opportunity to uh, watch all of the arrivals as they come through. Beautiful-looking uh, uh, 
Fiji Airways there. The 7-8 Max just rolling through nicely on 3-4 left. Turtle Dove saying good evening from Western Australia. Hello, mate. How are you? Lovely to have your company. Uh, Jenny Sadler saying, is tonight the eclipse? Uh, I think it's... Yeah, uh, well, not out tonight. I think, I think it's tomorrow. Actually, I'm not. To, I'm, to be honest, I'm not actually sure. Somebody there in the chat will, um, will, uh, will let us know. Wind at two three zero degrees at five knots, two knots of tower wind from a three four left, clear to land. Good land, three four left. Message coming in there from uh, GR Yaris Mal. Hey, Kurt, love the uh, the good curfew show. Good on you, mate. Nine months up there in the lodge. Thanks for celebrating with us. Appreciate that. And uh, Ketty's here up there in the Bondi Beach Cabana for seven months. Good on you, Ket. Lovely to have your company on the show tonight. Message coming in from TG. This is the best competitive dog grooming channel on YouTube. <laughs> TG in the house. Like, subscribe, follow on the socials. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Professional dog grooming. There's, a, there's an interesting one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Too funny. Scott Miller's here. G'day, Scotty. How are you, mate? Missing you, mate. Have you gone home yet or are you still here? If you're about and you want to come out and say hello, please be our guest. Come and say hello, mate. We'd love to have your company. We're, uh, we're down at the, uh, the mascot rock jetty at the break wall. Ah, Keith is there in the chat. Hello, Keith. Uh, Jessica, about our stream on the weekend. Um, it's highly likely. Uh, I just don't know those details yet. We'll have, to, we'll have to look a little bit closer towards the end of the week. But uh, there is a chance we might be doing a, a live show on uh, on the weekend, so we'll we'll see where we land. Hey, Kurt, I'm just Hello. looking at flight <laughs> I'm just looking at flight radar at the moment. Uh, just behind us, we've got a Air Gold Coast, a Sea Squad jet uh, coming into from Gold Coast, a Cessna, a Gulfstream. Is that is that what it is? Uh, it's a Cessna 525. Uh, so yeah, 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 you can pronounce it for me. <laughs> oh, I'll have a look in two seconds. We've just got this beautiful. Uh, a320 there from uh, Air New Zealand, just uh, dropping it in. The 320 Neo. So uh, where, whereabouts is it, Brendan? Uh, should be right behind us. So just coming over Bexley. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the Cessna Citation, right. So it's up there. So it looks like it's on downwind for runway left. We'll, we'll see it. It'll, uh, it'll come and land in this setup. I don't know if I can... I'm definitely not going to see it from here. Hello, James P. Tuning in from Adelaide. How are you, mate? Nice to have your company on the show tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Message there in the chat for uh, Keith, the Bubba Sony Sky, double helping of Set Squad. Don't you just love it? Good on you, Keith. Lovely to have your company on the show tonight, mate, and thanks for celebrating 16 months with us. That's huge. A Bubba Sony Sky, Keith there. Well done, mate. And uh, hopefully you've been well. It's, uh, you've been MIA for a little bit. Haven't seen you. Haven't seen you around. <laughs> Message now coming in from uh, uh, Michael Cadell. Dropping in three. Good on you, Michael. Thanks for your support, buddy. Hopefully you're doing well. Hello, Shrubsy. G'day, Shrubsy. Shrubsy in the house. <laughs> Where are you now, Shrubsy? Are you in Kalgoorlie or are you, are you back? Are you in Shepparton? Are you, are you in uh, Albion Park? Where can we find you, mate? Where can <laughs> we find you? Because you, you're all over the place. Hard to, hard to keep up with you, Shrubsy. Mary Ann Bruce. Hello there, Mary Ann. Moderator Ashley's in the house too. Uh, Taj R. When's the next live stream going to be? That's a good question, Taj. I don't have those details on me. Hopefully uh, sooner than later, right? Oh, jeez. Where are we here? Velocity 562 in from Perth. Hey, Kate there in the chat. G'day, Kate. Welcome. Trexy's here. Hello, Trexy. Captain Porcupine. G'day, Captain Porcupine. M's here. G'day, M. Johnny Vogel. Hey, Johnny. Kim Not Timmy's here. G'day, Kim. <laughs> Johnny Sinclair's there. G'day, Johnny. G. Rardy's in the chat. Hello, G. Rardy. Welcome back. 
Uh, this is not the canal. The canal is where they fly over our heads. We're, we're at the uh, the the mascot uh, the mascot. What are we calling it? The mascot jetty or the mascot breakwater? The boat ramp. No, no, no. The no. boat ramp is opposite to oh, us. Oh, that's the opposite, yeah. Okay, we're, it's called the Mascot Rock Jetty is where we are tonight. Bringing you the coverage uh, from a beach location. Mixing it up a little bit. And Xavier is saying he loves this location. Good evening all from Renan WB. Hello there. Trex is back. Yeah, plane spotting fishing spot. Zilly. Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. There are fishermen out here tonight. Uh, along the break wall. So there's a couple here doing their thing. There's a couple down there as well. Typically, well, normally we would go and stand down there near the pole where the beacon is. Uh, but I didn't want to walk all, all the way out there in the dark. So uh, I chose not to. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, you'll have to forgive me. Agent's there. G'day, Agent. How are you, mate? Nice to have your company here tonight. Seven eight seven now taxing down. This is Qantas one zero three service to Honolulu. Uh, they'll be departing in just a minute. Taxing down Alpha to the uh, Alpha six holding point for a departure there at uh, runway three four uh, left. One, two, Johnny Taylor wants to know if Kurt's fishing tonight. No, Kurt's, Kurt's not fishing. <laughs> I'm fishing for planes. <laughs> wow, look at that. What a shot. Adam Spencer in the chat there. Hello, Adam Spencer. Welcome. Karen Glenn's there. Hello, Karen. How are you? Lovely to have your company. Michael Sparkle, hello. Aussie Pete's there. G'day, Aussie Pete. Henry's in the chat. Hey, Henry. Yeah, Johnny Taylor reckons I should bring me rod next time. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's possible, mate. It's possible. It's a good spot. Uh, just ask the locals. They'll, uh, they'll give you the hot tip. Elaine's there. Hello, Elaine. Oh, Tajar wants me to say hello to his grandpa. Hello there, grandpa. <laughs> Haven't had that one before. Hey, uh, Ali's here. G'day, Ali. Nice to see you back. Oh, Stephen Dorner wants to see some engine glow tonight. Uh, yeah, we didn't see any on that, that crazy live stream that uh, I did the other night, which is when the weather was just going bonkers, right? Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was ridiculous. One of, our, one of our most successful shows, to be honest. It uh, got quite the viewing and uh, had, uh, had, uh, had quite a lot of people watching the show at, at the same time, which was quite exciting for us. High, uh, high engagement, and um, yeah, the uh, the chat was absolutely flying. Andrew Baker's here. G'day, Andrew. Melanie Dale. Hello there, Mel. Pineapple's here. Hey, Pineapple. How are you there? Blake Olcock is here. G'day, Blake. Seki's in the chat. G'day, Seki. Blue Dog 10. Hello to you, mate. Grant W. Matt Watson, evening to you as well. Renan's back. Thanks, everybody, for the... Uh, for the thanks and uh, appreciate y'all being here tonight. Kelvin's here. Yes. So many uh, friendly faces. Yeah, I know, Adam Spencer. It was a pearler of a show. I'm still wet. I'm still wet. <laughs> you should have come out, Brendan. Oh, I, I was uh, working. <laughs> you were working. On one of those nights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, message coming in from Hans Olive Mark there, dropping in the, uh, the knock 10. Good on you, Hans. Welcome back to the show. How are you? And uh, G-Rod E dropping in a fiver. Kurt, is the battery charged? King prawns and white wine and sit squad. Great combo. <laughs> yes, uh, we should be right to get through till 11 o'clock tonight. That is the uh, the plan here at uh, sit squad. <laughs> fear not, fear not. Amelia Briscoe. <laughs> Good evening, Kurt and Brendan. Uh, great spot for uh, lots of Revasta action tonight. <laughs> Reverse thruster. <laughs> Reverse thrust action. How funny was that, Amelia? On the show on Friday, I just got my words jumbled up and I was trying to say reverse thrust and I and I, I said Revasta. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, Ravasta. It's a new word. We're going to keep it. <laughs> must have been the weather. Yes, it must have been the weather. It wasn't full moon that day. One, two, three, sign heading three, Velocity three, coming five, in, Brendan. Three, what yeah. do we got here? Velocity 440, 441 in from Radelaide. Oh, brilliant. The 737-800. Lovely. Good, uh, good sights from here. Martin Davidson is here. Hello, Martin. Next, next to Landy is the Sisquad Jet, the Cessna. Oh, yes, the Citation, citation. coming in. Yeah, right, eh? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that one. Kate Chidiak is uh, saying that uh, we're relaxing her too much. <laughs> It, you should you should enjoy a live show from this location during the day. That is uh, that is actually quite a peaceful thing to do. Quite a peaceful thing to do. Message coming in from uh, Johnny Sinclair out there in the Bondi Beach Cabana for 26 months. My word, Johnny. Alpha Tango Zero, Tim, uh, make my day, you make my night. <laughs> Jeez, that's sweet. <laughs> uh. Oh, I love that one. Thank you, Alpha Tango Zero. Appreciate that. And uh, lucky to have your company on both shows today, which is brilliant. Agent, have you seen those mystery UFO lights recently? No. I actually wonder if we'll... Well, yeah, actually, yeah. This is, this is where I came to debunker the myth that they were... Um, that they weren't satellites. Well, they, they actually are satellites. I can 100% guarantee you there that they are. But, um, all right, here we go. Off to Honolulu now, the, uh, the corner 787. Hard to pick where they're popping out from be, uh, behind the uh, the road bridge there and the uh, the old control tower building, but at least we're uh, we're seeing them depart and uh, get their uh, well. Some some will have early rotations, uh, some earlier than others, but that's okay. Well, Kurt, we're going to soon in about a couple of seconds we're going to see we're going to see Emirates pop out of the trees there. Oh, Emirates A380. Hey, uh, firm. Oh, looking forward to that. Charlie Lima, five Charlie Lima. Wow, it's a long way away, the, uh, the threshold of 3-4 left, to be catching a uh, small plane like this. Tegum is here. Hello, Tegum. Lois is here. G'day, George A350. G'day, George. Yeah, I agree with you, Jenny. Be great to be heading to Honolulu. She's dark out there tonight. The um, the iPhone Maxibon Pro Ultima Max Plus Edition is doing its darndest to uh, bring you the uh, the coverage as best it can. But yeah, I mean it's uh, it is it is literally pitch black out there tonight. So uh, you know it's uh, as good as it's going to get from this vantage. Appreciate all of your understanding. Just, uh, 97 wind, two five degrees, five knots, runway three for left, clear the left. Oh, that was that was agent's message there. Who was a member there for 22 months, talking about the lights. Here we go, here we go. Oh, shrubsy, shrubsy, shrubsy. Stand by one. Hey, you legends, just call me uh, every just call me every cause. I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> um, at Norseman for a 24-hour break, mate. It's it's the eastern end of the air, uh, the uh, how do you pronounce that? The air? Yeah, it's the air highway uh, uh, in the Nullarbor. Have a great night, lads. Be heading east again tomorrow night. Wow. Well, uh, Shrubsy, um, 
travel safe, mate, as I always say. And uh, I've got to say, it's uh, lovely to have you as part of the show tonight. Welcome back. <laughs> as we got these beautiful scenes, all the uh, the reflections going across the water here as our Emirates 380 is uh, taxiing down for a, uh, a departure here. A 3-4 left. Maybe we can get a little bit more extra brightness in there. Maybe we can just pump up the... Uh, there we go. That, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. All the grain train is out and about, but that's all right. What a beautiful sight. We want, we want, a, bit of, uh, we want a bit more brightness on our, on our aircraft. We'll just pump up the, uh, the old exposure there on the iPhone. There we go. Now we're talking. Look at this. What a beauty. A jet star is just rolling through there nicely. Welcome. In from Perth. Oh, yep. Beautiful. Ooh. Bit of feedback there on our mics. Sorry about that. Hey, message coming in from... Uh, oh, should be there for Johnny Vogel. Where are we? Here we go, Johnny Vogel. Uh, see, it's quite on Little Wings. Simply marvellous. <laughs> Good on you, Johnny. Thank you for your support, mates, and I uh, appreciate you being here tonight as part of the Sid's Court show, as always. Always looking after us. Message coming in from uh, Plain Pete. Evening, Curtin Brendan. Uh, something to watch even just for a short while. All of the Sid's Court team is awesome. Excellent work by Tim this morning with Noah. Quality work as usual. Absolutely. And a big shout out to Noah. Thanks. Who's uh, yeah, wonderful, uh, wonderful boy out on uh, this morning show there towards the end of the show with his dad, and uh, wow, well, that's it. That's the uh, that's the future of plane spotting right there. Uh, these kids will be doing what Tim and I are doing in years to come, no doubt, <laughs> <laughs> or next year even perhaps. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. <laughs> yeah, well done, Pete. Like it. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, this morning's show with Tim. That's brilliant. Hey, me mate Scotty's here. Definitely still in Sydney. It's the last night in Sydney before flying out on New Zealand 104, the Tripler. To Auckland tomorrow morning. Thanks for the awesome Friday stream at Sheps. Scotty, mate, my absolute pleasure. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And I, I hope you did as well, buddy. I hope you did as well. It was fantastic. And uh, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, well, hopefully you had a good couple of days here in Sid with the wife. And um, I know you had a, an awesome Friday night, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, good on you, mate. Well, travel safe home, and I look forward to absolutely catching up with you again real soon, buddy. And uh, thanks for keeping me company. It was, it was brilliant. Dustin Jackson's here preparing for the uh, total solar eclipse in Indiana today, Path of Totality. Okay, so how many hours away is the eclipse right from right now? Okay, so local time now is 9.30 p.m.-ish, let's just say. So how many hours away is the eclipse, like, from, from now? Like, are we expecting it? I want, can somebody give me a local time in Sydney for when the eclipse is actually um, uh, taking place because I've, I've signed myself up to a couple of live streams uh, for, for the eclipse. What are we looking at, Brendan? Talk uh, to me. I can't, a, I can't read your mind. A, um, was it a beacon? In the background there, yeah, beacon. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. It's, uh, tri it was China, China Southern. Now, have we? I was just trying to see what was going on here. I thought we had... Uh, well, that's interesting. We got a boat here, but no, <laughs> <laughs> nobody on the boat. How does that work? You see that, Brendan? Yeah, I see it. I can see it. Yeah. What is going on there? Roger, I'm ready. Jetstar 530 in from Melbourne, the A321. Oh, Taj, mate, you got to make sure you get your schoolwork done, buddy. You don't want to get in trouble there. Peter Singh saying, oh, it's in five hours' time. Ah, okay, righto, righto, righto. We're staying for it? <laughs> we're not, not going to see any of it here. We're, we're absolutely not going to see it. What is going on with this boat? It, it, where is it? It's just floating out. Yeah, I don't know. It's literally just floating out into the bay. That is that is going to be fod on the water, on the waterways, I tell you. That is going out to sea, literally going out to sea. <laughs> 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 that
That is amazing. I've never I've never seen a boat just floating out. <laughs> rogue tinny. Yeah, yeah rogue tinny mud, mud crabs. <laughs> spooky. It is a little bit spooky. Hopefully no one's in it. Hey, Fluky. That'd be a bit. That'd be a bit awkward. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be very... I, I assume it's just come... I assume it's come from inside um, this Cooks this Cooks River inlet here. I'm, I'm guessing. Is that Emirates spooling up? Yeah, sounds like it. Oh, no, it's... Oh. No, they're not no. going to No, no, no. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't know. I um, Does anyone go out and collect that sort of stuff or what? Like, what's the go there? There, I've just put my torch on it. You can you can see that, can't you? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it is there. I don't know. I I, I certainly can't see inside though from here. Yeah, hey, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so next to land before Emirates. Maybe uh, they're sleeping. Maybe they're sleeping. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, so next to land here is Velocity 895 in from Melbourne. Sarah Deal. Hello from Boston. I love watching you guys. Someday I will get to visit there. Yes, please do. Come and say hello to us here at uh, Sid Squad, Sarah. You're uh, a wonderful supporter of uh, many, many of the, uh, the the live plane spotting streams around the world. And uh, we'd love to have your company down under for sure. On you, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for that message. Falcon saying hello. I am a crew from Emirates. Well, g'day, Falcon. He lanes here. Ooh, ooh, bird activity as well going across the screen. Did you catch anything? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ten rocks. That's what we call. Ten <laughs> rocks. Did you see the Did you see the rogue boat out there? Did you see the rogue little yeah, tin, tinny out there? What is it? Where did it go? Oh, it's still out there. It's just it's it is out there. What is it? It's just like a little tinny. You'll see it. It's oh, just it's there. Yeah. Just there. Little tinny. What are you recording? Oh, we're just doing a live plane spotting show. Oh. It's about a thousand people watching now. No way. Well, come and have a look if you want. A thousand people watching. Uh, sorry, I should. I lie. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to everyone. They can hear you. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Get guys. Yeah, g'day, guys. <laughs> uh, sorry. What do you like? What country? No, we're just filming. Um, we're just filming on YouTube. That's the channel there on oh, on my shirt. So, oh, wow. yeah, there you go. You can go on. <laughs> Uh, over a hundred thousand just oh, recently. Really? Yeah, yeah. So people just enjoy watching planes land. Yes, and taking off as well. Yeah. yeah. So we film it. Cheers. That's a lot of fun. So we just get enjoyment out of doing that, and that's why we're here. Yeah. Come fishing out here, guys. Hey. Get, yeah. Like, well, I, I was going to come all the way down to say hello to you guys and uh, chat earlier, but the, you know the rocks in the dark a little bit yeah, iffy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of crap, but there's nothing. No. Oh. Sorry. Uh, we can get up to 80 movements per hour. Yeah. So she gets quite busy. It's not, it's fun at night time. It's a little bit different. Nice to meet you guys. Nice Have a nice yeah. night. Travel safe back. See you later. Emirates, let's go. Ooh, Emirates pulling up. <laughs> Otto Weeks Green. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we do. Rotation just happening there behind the trees. Hopefully comes out uh, behind the uh, the bridge there, nice and oh, nice and close. How's the uh, how's the audio on that? Because I got a little got a little secret to tell you, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Kurt forgot a cable. <laughs> oh, he's already gone. He's over there. Wow, low and long. Jeez, wow. 
that was that was quite a long rotation because I did see it take place in front of the uh, the trees. But uh, oh well, here we go. Was that China Southern going down there? It was, wasn't yeah, it? it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Oh wow, Heather Easton said she phoned Coast Guard and they are letting the water police know about the dinghy. They're right. I mean, fair enough. Um, yeah, that's that's fair fair enough, I reckon. Falcon Game Rex got that message there. Thanks, mate. Welcome to the uh, Sit Squad live show today. Lovely to have your company, mate. G TJ was saying, uh, Kurt the salesman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was caught a little bit off guard because, look, in, in the past, or oh, not in the past, I would say tr traditionally we would normally put ourselves on mute to have private conversations with people when they come yeah. up to say hello because, well, the, the, the risk and the, the reality of the matter is you, you just don't know what you're going to get when people come past and start well, yeah, talking, right? right? Yeah. So, you know, think of think of uh, think of those news anchors that are out, you know, and then people go behind yeah. the cameras and go, Woo! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And they just go, they go, uh. they go crazy, right? And and so I always always got to be prepared for the uh, for the uh, for the old yobbo. Here. I've seen Especially, Anna, I've seen rugby league players go behind the news screen <laughs> and go. <"Whoa." laughs> Uh, you know, so yeah, you just you got to be prepared. But today, this this is what this is where I'm getting at. This takes me to my my point that I forgot a cable tonight, and that was the that was the cable for the external mic because uh, where we are where we are tonight, we're just filming from the beach. But it's a I, I didn't bring the full setup here tonight because uh, you know less batteries and all that sort of yep. stuff as well. A little, it's probably. It's probably the, the, the version in between Friday night Sid Squad light version, right? And uh, it required me to bring a cable that I didn't bring to get the external mic. So um, we're, 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 we're going rogue. And um, so I, I couldn't put myself on mute because otherwise you'd hear nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but then I thought, you know what? These guys seem pretty harmless. And I thought, yeah, let's just crack a joke. Get, get things started. I always like to ask the fishermen if they catch any fish because I want to be able to... I, I, like, I want to know how, how good the location is. So <laughs> they reckon they caught a lot of rocks and uh, not much fish. So how do you catch rocks? So it must just sink to the bottom and then you, you're pulling up and you get caught on the rocks. So it mustn't be too deep out there. So just landing here is a velocity of 1428 in from Cairns. Ah, oh, very good. Cairns service. Loving the reflections on the water tonight. It's pretty peaceful out here. I've oh, got to yeah. say, got to say myself actually. A couple of messages I've got to catch up on there in the chat. So I'll, I'll get, I'll get moving on that now. Um, right, so TG's back. Sid Squad full strength tonight. Oh, good on you, TG. Always supporting us, mate. Another two for you, you legend. Gerard E's back. Kurt, why does it take so long for the gear to go up on the A380? Uh, it did it or does it? It depends. I think it just um, it just depends on uh, whether they're uh, whoa, whether they're waiting for the for the brakes to cool. Uh, whether they uh, yeah, I, look, I I don't know. I think it could also be procedural. That's a fair question. I need I need my mate Will to talk me through that. Here we go, China Southern now, 787, rolling 3-4 left. You can still hear the aircraft in the background, though, can you? Yep. Hopefully people can. Keep in mind, we're probably about a kilometre away. Wind, 240 degrees, 5 knots, from way 3-4 left, clear left. Just at 79, coming through, very quiet. Back clear land, just at 79 now. Thank you. He was radios here. Pompous and Mark is here as well. Uh, Luke Clements. Oh, no. No live stream tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So Tim uh, apologises. Because I think he did say that there was going to be a live stream tomorrow. But um, no, no live stream tomorrow. He's um, he's got work, uh, he's, he's been called in for work. So uh, obviously, um, all right. Thanks, Mark and Elaine. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Oh, good on you, Peter Roberts. Thank you, mate. Uh, they need to reach a certain speed level before they can rotate. Uh, 
Yeah, so... Yeah, so no live stream to... Oh, there we go. There's our first reverse takeoff there. So the data tag on the bottom right-hand corner of your screen will show the, uh, the Global Team Express taking off their runway left. So that was catching them both sort of in the, in the same frame there. Oh, that's good, TG. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Yeah, so when the A380 takes off, they need to reach a certain speed before they can actually um, retract the gear and pack them away, basically. Um, so, yes. Now, where's our dinghy gone? Where is it? I was actually trying to look for it just then, and I can't see it. Oh, she's made its way. Oh, yeah, she's, she's getting out there now. I don't know, can it still catch? Can, oh, yeah, I can still still get it a little bit with the uh, the light. But, yeah, it's miles out there now, isn't it? Miles Harrison's away. Miles Harrison's away. <laughs> Far out. Yeah, fluky. <laughs> yeah, go, go past my place now and pick up the cable for me, would you? I'd appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, well, there's your dinghy. She's out there. It's all, all on its lonesome. It is a little bit spooky, though, isn't it? Did someone Isn't say it? someone's coming out to have a look at it? Well, I mean, Heather mentioned that she called Coast Guard, who said that they'll contact the water police. So, I mean, ah, right. I mean, I, I mean, it's not, it's not that urgent. But uh, yeah, Is I mean, it, it, I, I don't know. Maybe it at. could also be a procedural thing for them if they see an unattended sort of boat in the water. That maybe I don't know what the rules are f for our waterways, but uh, yeah, maybe it makes sense for something like that to be attended to. Uh, just learning here is Jetstar 420 in, 421 sorry, in from Gold Coast. Oh, good on you. Love it. And popped up on radar. We've oh, got look at that, the double. So there we go. Sorry, Brendan, hold that no, thought. That's all good. So there we go. We've got the, the departure out off runway 16 left at the same time that we're getting a landing here on 34 left. So that's exactly what I wanted to try and explain to you all, how that works. So it's uh, sod props are in operations here. So that's simultaneous opposite direction parallel runway operations in progress. <laughs> Try and say that one ten times fast. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, no live stream tomorrow because Tim was called in for overtime at work. So he's had to, obviously that takes, obviously that takes the priority for Tim. And, um, you know, as you know, we, we are live streaming uh, as it's a hobby for us. So we're, we're doing these live shows in our spare time. And, um, yeah, Tim obviously did originally have the day off tomorrow um, up until, uh, you know, sort of earlier this afternoon. And um, you've got to go where you've got to go where work takes you. So um, uh, that's just the way it is for Tim. So, um, yeah, it's a busy week for all of us, actually, with work this week. So uh, there we go. I've got a message coming in from Pete down here in Adelaide. Evening, gents. That, locations bring, oh, that location brings back memories. Yes, Pete. Well... Well, where we were, Pete, is actually on this little uh, on this little peninsula here, where you got some fishermen over there. So we uh, we're we're one more over uh, the uh, the mascot rock jetty is where we are tonight, mate. But yeah, I, I know, mate, brings back memories, doesn't it? That's where we were hanging out last time. Now, did you want to say something about what was on radar? China Airlines A three fifty coming out Dynasty, yep. beautiful. So we'll see that one soon as well. And uh, sorry, just to also quickly. Uh, we've got a uh, Qantas for A330 going to Auckland. Brilliant. Brilliant. They'll be coming out. That would be uh, Qantas 7523. AFM. Beautiful. Dustin Jackson here at 7.45 a.m. here now. The eclipse at 3.06 p.m., so about 7 hours and 21 minutes away. So that was about 10 minutes ago, 12 minutes ago, that message. So uh, what does that make it? So what's the local time going to be here in Sydney? Is that going to be 5 a.m. in Sydney? Can somebody give me a local time... I missed the chat when I asked earlier, so I do apologise. Um, if somebody did say what time it was going to be, and I've actually just missed the chat, so I, pro I apologise about that. So five. So I've got messages saying it's five hours away. Now I've got a message saying it's seven hours away. So what does that mean? Where are we? And then there's somebody saying it's six hours. So somebody saying it's two thirty-eight a.m. Is that right? And then George says it's three thirty a.m. So it's all a little bit over the shop. I know, I know that the eclipse takes a long time to, you know, from the time it starts to totality, from the time that it ends, um, and obviously depending on what time of the what time you you are in, depending on what place in the world you are, I guess that will determine when that actually happens. So I, all right, well I'll do a little bit of research at home 
after the show when I'm settling down and um, Mark will sparkle saying 2.38 a.m. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. We'll be good to see either way on some of these live streams. I'll have to check them out. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to quickly add, we yes. might have a arrivals... Um, Actually, no, sorry, a runway change. Oh, what have we got? Arrivals look like they're going in from 1-6. All the way? Yes. Uh, first to land will be Jetstar 820, 825 oh, that, well, that, in from Brisbane. That's interesting. That actually doesn't pose too much of an issue for us, only because we'll get to see, we'll get to see all of the, the departures through the hour of power. So you know how when we normally do the hour of power at Shep's Mound? Yep. Well, uh, think of it being the exact opposite, and we'll see we'll see those departures off here at uh, runway one six right. Uh, okay, so let's let's just see if that is the is the actual case then. No activity yet on one six right or one six left. We've still got one six left active, so I have got to do an ATIS check again. So standing by. Sydney terminal information, Mike. Expect independent visual approach. Do not pass through a sign runway center line. Runway one six left and right for arrivals and departures. Oh, well, there you go. One six left and right for arrivals and departures. So there, there it is. And uh, that'll be okay from uh, from this vantage because, well, we won't see the landings. But there's not going to be two more. There's not going to be a huge amount of landings, um, international landings, uh, coming in now. Uh, but we'll get all of the departures out. So uh, so that, that's perfect for us, in fact, Brendan. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. So that's great news, great news. Uh, message coming in there from cheeky little A380 there, Ms. Wires. Uh, could the boat have drifted from floodwaters? Um, no, no. Oh, well, I mean, yes. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> if we're talking about the floodwaters that are on the news, the answer is no, um, because that doesn't have anything to do with the location of where the floodwaters are that are being advertised out towards the Hawkesbury and the back of Richmond and Glossadia and the lowlands of Richmond and, and things like that, um, or Sackville or Ebenezer or, or places like that. So the Cooks River kind of goes up um, just in here to like, you know, the back end of the southern part of like uh, Cars Park and Oatley and uh, then all the way through Lugano and uh, places like, uh, well, yes, it becomes the Georges River. Um, but the inlet here at, um, sorry, I'm talking about the Georges River. Sorry, this little this little inlet here just goes through the back of Irwood, sorry, I should say. And there is a, sorry, near the back of Walleye Creek, there's a couple little boat um, sort of uh, mooring points. And there's one... There's one, it's called the Cooks River Public Pontoon, where there's a couple of boats there that moor. So, I mean, if you're on Google Maps and you're playing from home, you could probably have a, have a look. And, I mean, that's the kind of boat that we're talking about. These are just tinnies up in this little sort of canal here. And, and a lot of people join the Cooks River with their jet skis a little bit further up. But, um, yeah, I, I reckon it might have just come off its mooring from inside the, right near the back of... Uh, the International Airport there behind the Tempe Recreational Park, the Cooks River Public Pontoon is my guess. I might just have a little look to see where it is because I reckon that's going out. That's going out to sea now. Um, that could be it over there. You know what? It'll probably hit... It'll probably hit the the the, 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 the wall, <laughs> the rocks, and it'll get... It might get washed up. I mean, that's... Yeah, you can't... Yeah, it's really hard to see on the... Uh, if I could just point, he's just there. I can't even see him, Kurt. Where is he? Yeah, it's just there. But I mean, what what will be interesting is if the water police do actually come out this time of the night, we'll actually see them on the water. So that 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 could be pretty interesting. But I I suspect that it's just going to hit the rocks and um and yeah maybe it might even just yeah get stuck. So uh, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. So right now we're just waiting for some of these departures to get a move on now. So, uh, well, we're going to have a few. We're going to have Dynasty 52, which is the China Airlines 359er, Qantas 25 to Haneda, Cathay 138 just popped up as well to Hong Kong. Local time now is 10.03. Uh, we have just got the curfew tag now up on the screen. It's 56 minutes until the end of the show tonight. Unless we get a couple of 146s that are uh, departing, and then we might see a few of those okay, departures. Okay, but well. that, and I'll let you so, guys know. <clears throat> yeah, so it should be in a 
exciting uh, show with some of these departures going out uh, tonight, which I'm looking forward to. A couple of messages that we can now rip through. Uh, and I might just come back to that because we got we got a, uh, a landing. Oh, look at this! We can actually get to see a good view of our landings here on. Uh, I'll come back to to that one in just a minute. Uh, landings here on one six left, miles away, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah, Miles Harrison's away. Let me tell you. Um, so that's the Jetstar eight twenty five in from Brisbane. The eight three twenty. That's landing runway left. So if we're at Shep's Mound tonight, they'd be coming head on, basically, from right to left. But we're mixing it up a little bit tonight. We've uh, decided to change our location, have a little bit of fun. We're on a road trip. Oh, is that a, oh, there's a stack of birds going out there in the background as well. All right, Dougie, Dougie was there. Better bring his message back up. And he's saying, uh, good evening from uh, Wellington, Sid Squatters. Eight minutes till midnight in New Zealand. So that was about 12 ago. Uh, it's an honour being part of the, uh, the Sid Squad global family. You're all legends. Uh, get on you, Dougie. Thanks for your huge support there. Uh, Ten months up uh, there uh, with us in the, uh, the lodge. Great to have your company, mate. Tuning in from Wellington. Windy Welly tonight. Lovely to have your company, buddy. NZ Reppin is here. Hopefully you're well, Kurt. What a nice night for, for a plane spotting stream. I, I agree. A couple of Kiwis there in the chat. Brilliant. I wonder if they're looking for the boat there on the uh, on the break wall, but they, they probably the wouldn't even know about it. Yeah, the airport car. vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not much they can do either, to be honest. Uh, they, it certainly needs another boat to come out and collect it. Would it be the security, maybe? Would security one might know about it if it breaches the uh, the perimeter. Um, you know, the, but somebody needs to spot it. That's the uh, that's the thing. And I don't. It's still there. It's still there on uh, on screen. Right about, yeah, kind of like right about there-ish. <laughs> We're about to see our first takeoff on 16 right, Kurt. Beautiful. What's down there? Qantas 499 uh, to 499, yes. A All right, well, uh, this time we'll see them come out from the bushes, which will be great. Bondi Steve's here saying, great show. Uh, g'day. And uh, get on your Bondi Steve, mate. Thanks for tuning in to Sid Squad tonight. It's nice to have your company. And uh, Tim's been called in to retrieve the tinny. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that, that tinny will be out the heads of Botany Bay by the time Tim gets here tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh. No, 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 he's not, he's not out. He, he'll be out here tomorrow. He's got a big day ahead of him. But he he apologises profusely to the entire Sitzquad family. He's unable to uh, bring the show online tomorrow, which is, a, which is a bit of a shame. But, I mean, work and family absolutely do come first. So... Um, that's the uh, the priority here at Sit Squad. Here we go, the first of the uh, the rotations. Oh, and it's a retro. How about it? Oh, I can handle this, Brendan. Oh, I can handle this. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. And it was a retro too, Kurt. I know. How good. How good. Well done. There we go. That service off to Melbourne tonight. Wow, we get quite the showing of the uh, we get quite the showing of these aircraft from uh, One Six Right. So some of the heavies will get a, a beautiful display of them going past. Absolutely. Now, Kurt, yes. I see something on the corner of my eye. There, there's a boat oh, coming. Oh, there is a boat coming in, is it? All right, let's yes. have a look. Oh, it is. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have good it's eyesight, the water Kurt. police. <laughs> it is the water police. <laughs> 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 That is a Heather. You are an absolute champion. Uh, I know. <laughs> How about it? Wind two six degrees three knots. Tremor one six right. Clear land. I noticed they're coming in earlier from far away. Yeah. I saw something moving. They I'm like, is that coming towards it up. us? That is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Heather, you've just yeah, that's magic. Well done. There we go. New South Wales Police on the scene, and they are retrieving the dinghy. <laughs> well, that's cool. Well, how about it? Good sight there, uh, Brendan. Thank that you. That's great. So the uh, the New South Water Pol New South Wales Water Police are out there, and they're um. I mean, it's very dark. I, I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen, but. Uh... <laughs> I just really hope no one's in it. 
That's the next to land here. Well, they're picking it up. Are they? Yeah, they're picking it up. Yeah, they're actually bringing it on board. Wow. Uh, that's cool. Uh, so next to land on 1 6 right is uh, Jester 532 in from Melbourne. Beautiful. Oh, well, I think they've picked it up. Yeah. And uh, that's really cool. <laughs> Water rats to the rescue, Denny P. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so there you go. You can see it, got, got, it went all the way from out here. Well, I mean, it's, it's come a lot further, of course. Um, but yeah, they've made their. Uh, it's made their way all the way out to the um, to the to the break wall over there. Heather's got pretty good reporting skills, to be honest, because. Um, <laughs> Uh, I want to know from Heather what she actually said. Like, cause she's obviously, uh, they shined the light. <laughs> because that, that's pretty good reporting skills to be able to get the, the accurate location. Ah, oh, police said that they just called her and said that they're there now. So there you go. Well, they're on screen. <laughs> they're being featured. It's being captured. And uh, they've, they've got it, and it looks like they're now towing it. So let's have a look. Yeah, it's, it's actually on the back and it's now being towed. They've got it hooked up and, uh, yeah, away she goes. That's real cool. <laughs> hey, Kurt, I can see uh, China Airlines just in front of us there. He's just facing uh, wait, with the bright beacon over there. Hang on, I can't chi really China picture Airlines. where it is. No, I don't, I don't know. That... I've got two jet stars. Is that, that just star? Oh, yeah, sorry, two I thought it was stars. China. Yeah, my bad. So, um... No, China Airlines is far, far yeah, away, all the way like, down yeah, at yeah. Uh, Alpha right. One. Okay. Nah, it's good job. Uh, it's good job, Heather. You, you, uh, you did awesome. Uh, message coming in here from uh, Cheeky Little A three eighty there, and uh, the reflections on the water are just stunning. Oh, good on you, Cheeky Little A three eighty. Thanks for that. Drop it in the two tonight. Appreciate that. Uh, Michaela is here. Welcome to the uh, the Gold Coast uh, Penthouse. Good on you, Michaela. Thank you for that wonderful support. Appreciate you being here tonight. And uh, Ian Plowman has gone ahead and gifted five Sid Squad memberships. Oh, good on you, Ian. Thanks for uh, your support of the uh, the Sid Squad show tonight. Appreciate you being here. And uh, congratulations to the uh, the five newest gifted members here at the Sid Squad Fan Bam. This is the only downside about these domestic arrivals coming in here at three at uh, one six right is they. They vacate off there at the rapid there in front of Shep's Mound and then they disappear. So we don't really, we don't really see uh, too much of that. But I'm hanging out for the departures. Now we're in the final hour of power, so it's not going to be a huge, it's not going to be a long show anyway. So patience is a virtue, but they're coming. Simon, drop it in the five. G'day, Simon. Thank you for your support. Appreciate you being here tonight, mate. No message there, but message received loud and clear. And uh, we've got uh, Robert Thomas. You should see the uh, the conga line on flight radar coming in from the southwest. <laughs> yeah, I've a... seen it. So it's all domestic arrivals, is it? Yeah, it um, looks like it, Kurt. All domestic arrivals. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah, he is. I thought Katara was coming the um, A350, but that's going to Auckland. 498, wind calm, run 16 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 16 right, quarter 498. Here comes China Airlines. Yeah. We're just watching our corner 737 land runway left there from Brisbane. China Airlines will be really coming out here in a second. Oh, there we go. Beautifully done, China Airlines out the door. Now, where did our police boat go? There they go. Yeah. Yep, there we go. They're taking, the, uh, taking it away. Water rats in the house. 
Uh, we've got Malaysia 140 popped up on the radar, the A330, 300. Uh, that's cool. Ooh, it just got a little bit cooler here. I don't know if you whether if you felt that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to feel it. Gee, Rady, the tinny could be uh, picking up stuff that's been dropped off. <laughs> yeah, it could be one of those tinnies. It uh, could very well be one of those tinnies. <laughs> Grant W is back. The hour of power with no bushes. Well, we've still got bushes. <laughs> just on the other. They're actually in the same position. They're in the same position as where they'd be if we were doing a 3-4 left stream, can you believe it? <laughs> oh, far out. That's funny. Brendan uh, Scott. Hey, Brendan. Hey, mate. Give the stream a like, everyone. Oh, good on you, Brendan. Ch uh, two months up there in the, lo in the lodge. And uh, great to have your company here on the show tonight, mate. Hopefully you're doing well over there in WA. Shirley Burton, insert the Bonanza theme here. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a bit harsh. Oh, it's a bit harsh, Shirley. <laughs> Ali's back. Good night all after a big weekend. My daughter's hen's party. Bestie's birthday yesterday in a 12-hour overnight shift at the uh, at the EVAC Centre. <laughs> I'm wrecked. Old nature's me, Ali. Oh, lovely to see you here anyway, Ali. And uh, look after yourself. Take care. We'll chat with you soon. Uh, you know, Scott, I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Scott Miller has just oh, came, hey, came hey, down hi, to Brent. join us here at the break wall. How are you? Yeah, good, are you? What so you're out tomorrow morning? What yeah, time? Tomorrow morning, 11, 11 o'clock straight. 11, oh, that's, yeah. you got plenty of time to sleep. sleep yeah, I want to get to the last minute plane squad, then. So I wanted to know how you got out of here without your wife knowing. Oh, she approved. She approved. No, I, I, I got the, you get out here now. You get out there. Enjoy it while you last. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you if you don't know, Scott Scott was with us on uh, Friday night stream uh, in the well, the crazy, crazy weather. Well, <laughs> He's just come out here <laughs> to join us for a uh, a couple of well, an hour. I was going to say of power as uh, the show wraps up <laughs> this evening. <laughs> yeah, the service off to Hanita there, the Qantas 3:30. Oh, hashtag fluff. Yeah. Plugged it into Google Maps and made your way down? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's brilliant. It took me to the other side, but... Here we go. There's one of our first 146s coming in, and that's on runway left. Actually wonder if we... Uh... Yeah, there we go. In from Brisbane. Yeah, we've actually never featured the uh, the one six operations from this vantage at night time before. I don't believe. I think it's always been three fours, if I remember correctly. That, nah. yeah. Just going through a couple of more messages there, and uh, oh yeah, Heather just said uh, they called me and I mentioned Sid Squad. <laughs> there you go, the local New South Wales police have uh, been alerted, the water police, and uh, now they know all about Sid Squad. They can go back and watch the live replay. <laughs> uh, Heather, you're an absolute champion. You've done the, you've done the community proud tonight. <laughs> Plane spotting with Pompous and Mark from Adelaide is here. New emote idea, a floating dinghy. <laughs> Maybe. Although, although we, we wouldn't get them that often, Pete. <laughs> we wouldn't. I dare say we'd, we're ever going to see another one again, if I've got to be completely honest with you. <laughs> uh, Fluky, thanks for those uh, details, mate. And uh, I'll uh, absolutely look forward to checking out the, um, uh, the, uh, the Eclipse uh, when I get home to see if I can actually see it on any of those live streams. We're good to, good to catch it. Message here from Renee Holt. Up the grade of the membership to the Gold Coast Penthouse. Good on you, Renee. Thank you for that. And Michael Fisher is here. Awesome stream, lads. Good on you, Michael. A bit of a slower stream for, uh, that we would typically be used to here at Sid Squad, but I don't care. It's plane spotting all the same. I'm just out here enjoying myself. Brendan's here with me Hello. and Scotty's here with me. It couldn't get any better than this. And uh, we are just... Well, we're, we're, get, we're still going to be seeing some uh, heavy departures come out within within the next 40 minutes or so. So um, exciting times. And uh, yeah, a little bit different uh, location tonight, but um, 
Probably want to take off. Okay, want to you know, I actually did have a bit of a, uh, a quandary about where to go tonight, if I have to be completely honest with you, because the winds are only five to eight knots. So they're not, they're not doing a lot. Now, we were operating around 6 p.m. tonight. We were operating runway 16 left and 16 right. Um, and then the, uh, the ADA said from, uh, from time 100, which was 8 p.m., the, the runways were going to switch to 3-4 left and 1-6 left, so the sod, sod props uh, operation. And, uh, and that did, in fact, take place. And now, now they're back on 1-6s. So, I mean, it's, a, it's been a bit of a mixed bag. Hard to pick what they were going to do. So do you go to the canal? Well, then you miss out on half of the movements uh, tonight. Do you go to the car park? Well, then all the movements are down the far end. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag. But um, thankfully, uh, we're, we're still out here and we're going to see movements like this. Wow, look at this, the cafe, oh, yeah. 350, out the door. Beautiful. Hello, Richard. Karen Glenn loves the uh, the one four sixes. Good on you, Karen. How about it? I do too. The uh, the, the cheeky little four burners. Message there coming in from uh, Metallic Gold. Great stuff tonight, guys. This this love this stream tonight. Oh, thanks, uh, Metallic Gold. Appreciate the tour tonight. Uh, it's very very kind. Thanks very much. Mary Ann Bruce, is there nothing Sid Squad can't do? <laughs> Love you, boys. Well, I tell you what, I wasn't going to go and swim out to that boat. <laughs> Neither was I, trust me. Yeah, um, that's an interesting one. We've never we've never seen anything like that before on the live show. So that's uh, certainly an interesting one. Now, this is the flight that we've got on the screen, the Velocity yeah. uh, 1537. Oh, vacating to the right. Vacate right. So, yeah, Velocity 1537. Hobart. Yeah, this is the, um, the flight that a uh, viewer was uh, on. On. Oh, are we yes, going to see, uh, we we gonna see, see a shot on the light? Yeah, well, it shine depends on what. Well, I wonder why the Hobart service is, is vacating this side of the international. I mean, look, we are. Oh, geez, are we going to see anything here? Got to move, got to move it around. You can't just keep it still if it's there. But I, I oh, there it is. Yes, one A. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. There he is. <laughs> one A, right at yeah. the pointy end. That is magic. How good is that? <laughs> How does that happen? That's so cool. Phew. <laughs> wow, that was that was brilliant that we actually called that. I was like. <laughs> I thought there's no way, <laughs> no chance at all. But there, there are the goods. Oh, that's good. There you go. Now we, now we should say, now we should say, Mary and Bruce. Is there nothing that Sid Squad can't do? <laughs> <laughs> that seems more appropriate. Oh, geez. Well, that's that was quite that was quite good. I didn't think we were going to see that. <laughs> row one, yes, front row, <laughs> first window. How good is it? Oh, thanks, guys. I'm glad that we picked that up. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, we're not worried about the other passengers, let's be honest. <laughs> There's our 146 making its way back there on Taxiway Bravo. Uh, so, uh, my, yeah, Taxiway Bravo, I believe it is. Yeah, Qantas 7292, the service in from Brisbane that came in on 16 left just a moment ago. Uh, magic. Oh, Blue Dog's here. G'day, Blue Dog dropping in a fiver. Something always interesting happens plane spotting when you stream from one of the spots on this side. Kite surfing, mic theft, abandoned boats, etc. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, well, that mic theft was actually over the other side. Now, that Tim normally sort of sets up on there on the boat ramp on the other side. Gee, that is the boat ramp over there where all those lights are. So, so yeah, that's where Tim's mic got eaten up by the dog. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the kite, the kite surface, well, that was a members-only stream a little bit further down this sort of peninsula down towards uh, Ramsgate. Um, and, in fact, we might actually do another members-only live show from that location again for a little bit of fun. So um, keep your eyes and ears pe peeled uh, for information on that coming soon. Oh, my good mate Brian Bruce is here, part of the furniture. Good evening, gents. Hopefully you're staying warm. Kurt, it's going to be 22 degrees here this afternoon. Well, you better get your puffer ready, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Time to turn on the air conditioning. Have a good one. Oh, on you, Brian. Thank you for your support. Uh, still in the t-shirt tonight, but I reckon I'm about to get the. Uh, <laughs> I reckon I'm about to get the puffer out. She's a bit fresh. She is. A, she is getting. What, 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 what's our temperature? 20 degrees. Um, but I want to know the feel like temperature. Um, I reckon it feels like 16. Has it, is that is that what we've got? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See when it rotates around. It's going to come. It's going to come. I reckon. Hello, Maggie. How are you? Uh, Brian and I, we're always having our banter about the weather. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. So it looks like next to the park. Read my mind. Malaysia 140. Yeah, Malaysia 140 down there at Alpha 1 now. They'll be uh, departing any second now. And uh, that we'll see them uh, come past us. Now, their rotation could be somewhere around, yeah, like what are we betting? near the tower, I reckon. I'm going to say the tower. Tower? Yeah. I'm going to say just after it. Jeez, those trucks going across there making a banging noise, aren't they? I'm going with the tower. So. Say again? I'm going with the tower. You're going with the tower as well. Scotty saying the tower. Malaysia 140, line up on one truck. There we go, Malaysia 140, next to depart, coming down runway 16 right. So we'll see them very soon. And a message there from Michael Zatini. Hello, Michael, dropping in a three. Lovely to have your support on the show tonight. Thank you very much. Uh, and Pro, do a stream at Kernel for three, four overheads. Oh, that's an interesting. I think you're pretty far away. Um, I think you're pretty far away from uh, the action there at, at Cornell. But, um, yeah, look, I mean, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Uh, will we go over curfew again? Fancy pants. Well, it's a good question. Um, we, will, we will see. Yeah, local time now is 10.26 p.m., so uh, I, I, I'm not sure what other departures are, are, are there uh, on the schedule to go out tonight. You know me, I kind of come out to these live shows a little bit, uh, a little bit blind, and uh, and that for me is, uh, you know, is a is a good thing. I like to come out here and not know too much about what's going on with uh, with the movements until they until they happen. <laughs> Dave is saying nice camera work, Kurt. Nice camera work. I'm not moving the camera at the moment. I'm just getting down to uh, pack something in the bag because uh, it is quite humid out here and it's getting moist and I just want to make sure things aren't getting wet. Now, Kerr, I yes. believe we do have one more uh, movement internationally. Oh, yeah. That'll be a freighter, the A330 Qantas. Uh, the A330 Qantas Off freighter. Auckland. Right. Yeah, the 75. I forgot the other... The other digits. Yeah, the other digits to that flight number. Well, here we go. Malaysian 140 now uh, starting to roll hard and fast. Down one six right. If you're playing at home, you can see that on flight radar as well. Puffer is now on, Brian. <laughs> Scott, oh, here we go. There she is. I said tower. She's going long. Wow. Yes. What the? <laughs> we going to Kuala Lumpur. Let's go. Wow. Brilliant though. Brilliant. Brilliant that we got to see. The full rotation there, and there is a there is a sniff of engine glow. Look at that! <laughs> there is a sniff of engine glow right there. Yep, on the uh, on the on the number two, the right engine as it makes its uh, right turn there. Was not sure that we would see engine glow from this location, but yeah, uh, we're talking about it. Interesting, good stuff. Malaysian 140 now contacting departures out the door. Thanks for playing. Just a 
614, wind 260 degrees, 4 knots, number 16 right, clear to land. 16 right, clear to land, just down to the Jetstar 614 uh, come in from Melbourne, next to land here on 16 right, A320. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those engine glows in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we've got a couple of new emojis in, on the uh, the Sid Squad live stream tonight, which are not really going to be of use. We've got the uh, the custard duck for Singapore Airlines, and uh, we've also got the um, the seven one. We've got a seven one seven emoji in there as well. Yes, I've noticed that. So there you go. David Cooper saying, uh, "Grainy glow." <laughs> yeah, grainy glow. Yes. Now we didn't uh, we didn't feature ourselves on the uh, on the uh, BTS earlier, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the uh, this is Hello. the BTS crew here. My name's Kurt, and we got Scott here in the middle, <laughs> and then we got Brendan. So I did just want to say a special welcome to the Sid Squad show here tonight. Thanks for having uh, well, thanks for having us in your lounge rooms or on the mobile phone or on the second screen or, or at work wherever you're tuning in from around the world. Uh, lovely to have your company here tonight. And uh, yes, we're doing a bit of plane spotting down at the uh, the mascot rock jetty tonight, which is um, looking out over Botany Bay, and um, and we're seeing all the departures coming from left to right, which is uh, runway one six right direction tonight. So we're in a bit of a different position for the movements today, pretty much because the winds were really calm. The runways were, were quite fluid. They were changing a lot. So it was kind of hard to pick where the best spot to, to go would be for tonight. But uh, glad to say that we're out here tonight and just doing something a little bit different. You know, we saved the world earlier by uh, letting the uh, the police know there was a boat out there. So big kudos to Heather, one of the viewers there in the chat. We had a, a rogue boat going and the water police came and picked it up. So um, the community works, yeah. <laughs> which is great. Speaking of community, big shout out to our Little Wings uh, charity partner of choice. Uh, if you're uh, if you're able to to give any any sort of amount of money to charity, then I encourage you to visit our website sidsquad.com.au and uh, go ahead and pick yourself up some merchandise there. And just know that all the proceeds are going to charity, uh, wonderful children's charity. And you can read up all about it on our website. Um, uh, also, uh, we've got a Give Our page link on our website as well under the support tab, um, and that, that's where you can go and make a tax deductible tax deductible donation to charity as well. If you're not interested in picking up merchandise, which is fine, never any obligation with any of that, which is which is fine. But I always like to plug it in case you're new to the show and you don't really know what's the uh, the all the Little Wings stuff is about. Um, and we're very proud of that relationship, and we always love to give them a shout out as well. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and give today's show a bit of a thumbs up. That builds up the uh, the community as well. And if you're new to the show, perhaps consider subscribing and uh, hit the notification bell button. Make sure you get across all the details about when we go live next. Planning on having another live show out the door before the weekend. Not too sure when. If you heard that there was going to be a live show tomorrow, you did hear correctly from Tim. However, that is no longer taking place because he's been called in for work. He's on overtime. Work and family comes first for, for us here at Sid Squad. So it's obviously important that Tim takes that as a priority. So no live show on Sid Squad tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully before the weekend, another one coming up soon. So, so that's all we've got for you at the moment. But that's pretty exciting. And, uh, and then, you know, you never know what comes around the corner at, uh, by the weekend. And we might be back in full force again. So <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, so a couple more movements to come out the door tonight. Local time now, 10.32 p.m. And um, we're going to be going all the way through till 11 o'clock tonight here at local time, which is uh, when the curfew is in, is in full swing. So Tasman 2 is a 767 off to Auckland. They're going to be departing in a minute. Uh, Toll Freight Express departing to Brisbane, 737 going as well. Uh, and then I'm not actually too sure what else we've got on the uh, on the schedules. Maybe uh, we've, we've, we've got to have a quick look to see. Uh, we've got to have a quick look to see. Um, uh, let's have a look now. We've got a message coming in from uh, Michael Zatanini. He's back. Hey guys, we just oh we just met you uh, on the uh, on the rocks fishing. You've gained a new subscriber. Love your work. Thanks for showing us the behind the scenes. God bless, oh, Michael. You're legend. 
How about it? So um, I believe it was Michael and his and his partner or his girlfriend were here before doing a bit of fishing, and they uh, they've just gone uh, past us on the rocks. They didn't they didn't catch anything, which is a huge shame. But uh, hopefully, but welcome well, to yeah, welcome to Sitzbot, and maybe we'll bump into you again in the near future. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, thank you, mate, for dropping in the three and then the uh, and then the eight. It's very very kind and uh, lovely to meet you. you. You sound like a nice bloke, and we'd we'd love to hang out again. So uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> really really cool to <laughs> have you as part of the team. Mate, and uh, you guys uh, go get warm and enjoy the rest of your night, and uh, we'll catch you another time. So, there we go, that was uh, Michael. Message coming in now from uh, John Stanley. Kurt found the Eclipse Live NASA website. So, 3 a.m. on Tuesday for our Aussie viewers in Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, and Victoria, and Tassie. So that's pretty much the entire country, uh, except for WA. Uh, and the Eclipse begins at 3.23, reaching totality at 4.40 a.m. Oh, jeez, gosh, Kurt, it's going to be a late night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, yes. Okay, well, uh, got to say to John, thanks for those details, mate. So, um, yeah, wow, well, okay, so four, around 4.30, around that, uh, around that time for, uh, for totality. Um, I'll have to, uh, I, I don't know what my eyes are going to be doing at that time in the morning, that's for sure. <laughs> Jamie Plane Spotting has joined Sid Squad here. Welcome to the Bondi Beach Cabana. Good on you, Jamie. Uh, thanks for joining us here at uh, Sid Squad. A little bit quiet here at the moment, but we're going to have our first 737-400 rip pass in just a minute. It is air work number two. And uh, they will be uh, <laughs> mud crabs, yes. Kurt Ams did the sales pitch, and the sales pitch clearly worked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I had no idea that uh, I had no idea that uh, Michael would sign up to Sid Squad, but um, <laughs> it's cool that he did, oh, which is awesome. All right, here we go. The uh, the seven three seven four hundred, uh, ripping it out. The airwork, classic. Uh, Brian Svensson is here. G'day, Brian. Hashtag fishing and plane spotting on the rocks. It's a great combination. Yes. Yeah, it is. Oh, look, when I'm out here, Fluke, you are right. There is a lot of debris floating around in the bay tonight. And that could have been from the... Um, they're not crocodiles, by the way. Uh, that could have been from the uh, the the yeah the higher you know water levels here in the uh, this part of the the bay over the weekend for sure. After that 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 the deluge that we copped on Friday night, you would remember that, Scotty. You would remember that indeed. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, now where was I? B roads using those new emojis, Kurt. Oh, is he? Is yep. he? Yeah, was he? What he got? Yeah, we got the, uh, the 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 custard duck, and then there's a seven one seven emoji. We didn't, we haven't seen any seven one sevens on the show tonight, I don't think. So, nah. um, uh, next, well, we've got a seven six seven coming out to play service to Auckland. It's a Tasman two, and then we've also got Toll Freight Express forty one going to Brisbane, which is a seven three. So I think that's next to go because it's currently going in on uh, Foxtrot or going out via intersection Foxtrot. So we'll see them rotate sort of just b before the tower. Um, Fancy Pants is here saying yay for Michael and his lady. Absolutely. And Adam Spencer as well uh, saying legend Michael and, and welcome. Uh, that's great stuff, guys. That's how we work. One line up, run one, two, try. Message from uh, Lachlan Dimmock here. I love these streams. Appreciate you guys. I'll get on your Lachlan. Uh, thank you for your support and for hanging out with Sid Squad tonight. Bit of a uh, bit of a quiet, uh, a quiet uh, show. More quiet show tonight, but uh, that's okay. There's a four burner, Kurt. Approved. Contact ground one two six zero. Yeah, just missed it. Alpha three approved and ground one two six. Where is it? There we go. Just landed in from uh, Brisbane, I believe. Yeah. Wow. Team forty one from one six right cliff tackle. Open two line up from one six right and wait.
Michael Jansen, hello from Lear, Germany. Hello there, Mark Johnston. Uh, welcome to the Seed Squad show tonight. Nice to have your company. <laughs> Brian Svensson getting all clucky there with those, uh, <laughs> those emojis. <laughs> Good on you, Marsh. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate that. Kelvin Grant said there were a couple of uh, 717s on the, uh, on, the, on the Tim Tam show <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> yes. Hey, Mason uh, uh, Balzon is here. Hello, how was your day? Day was good today, busy at work. How was your day? Still waiting for the, uh, the Tasman 2767. Hot, hot chicken rolls here tonight. <laughs> 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 I, lo I love some of our viewers. We've got some pretty cool, uh, pretty uh, cool names, eh? Hello, Robbie. Tasman two, run one six right, clear for takeoff. Robbie Batista. Hey, Robbie. Lachlan Dimmitt's back. I love these streams. Appreciate you. Or did I do that one already? I might have done Lockies. Well, that's a okay. Lovely to have your company on the show tonight. All right. So Tasman two had just been cleared for takeoff. Where are we predicting the rotate, Kurt? Wow, that's a good question. I'm going after. I can it. hear him spool up. Right there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say the. I'm going to say the tower again. I'm going to say after the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent uh, Mangan saying I uh, tried to check out the one six right plane spotting area. It was tricky to find because of all the new roads. You have to turn off where the Qantas freight terminal area is to get there. No, I, the best place to park is at the Tempe Recreational Centre and then to walk along the cycle path, the shared the shared cycle path. Tower, tower, tower. Yeah! <laughs> uh, you win. I think it's one all. I think it's one all. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, the job of the chat now is to find out what other movements have we got tonight? Do we have any other departing aircraft on the airfield tonight? I've found one. Okay. Already. Uh Qantas 7345, uh, Qantas Freight A330-200 off to Melbourne. Oh, it is, is it? Yep. Oh, yeah. Echo Bravo Foxtrot. All right, all right. Oh, A330, well, that's, that's quite a big aircraft. Well, we're not going, we're not going home yet then. <laughs> well, we're still on duty anyway for another 19 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We can't go anywhere just yet. Yeah, they've just popped up. Oh, we've got the uh, Qantas 7340, which is an A321 service departing to Brisbane. We've got a Toll Freight Express 22, 737, 400 Classic going to Melbourne. And we've also got Qantas 7345, the A330, 200 going to Melbourne. So, look out. Three departures coming your way. Hello, Elaine. Hello, Elaine. Ah, uh, there we go. Scandorama is here. G'day, Scandorama. Two streams in a day. Love these, uh, the Hour of Power streams. Yes, the same as us, Scandorama. Thanks for your support and for, uh, for joining the, uh, the live show tonight, mate. Hopefully you're doing well. Lovely to have you back as well, Scandorama. Dropping in the fibre there. Vincent. Did you catch anything, guys? Yeah, man. You did? How many? Are they are they good size? Yeah. Fan, fantastic. What type of fish are they? Uh, the prawns and squid. Squ squid. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, good luck. Enjoy dinner. Well, the lad's got some, some squid tonight. How about it? Making me hungry. <laughs> 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 I 
Oh, yeah, we might have to uh, we might have to do a cheeky post show uh, stop off, Brendan. Here we go. <laughs> Qantas seventy three forty is the service to Brisbane. It's the A three twenty one now departing runway one six right. Let's go. Let's go. We're twenty two liner runway one six right. Rotate ships. Oh, yeah, but very similar. <laughs> Hello, Bright Pink Aviation, tuning in from Perth. Hello there. <laughs> TG Squid Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have heard that one before, but I don't think there was any better time to call Sid Squad Squid Squad than that. <laughs> but, yeah, maybe that maybe that's the emoji <laughs> that's the emoji that we need. Oh, uh, David Cowper, what 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 what, do, what domestic? No, I'm talking about departures. Arrivals, I'm not too worried about because we're not going to see them anyway. Hey, Kurt, what's in the water in front of us there? That's moving. No, don't we, tell me it's another boat. Hey, no, no, no. Where are we looking? Just in front of us here. Uh, there. Can you see it? Oh, is it? See it moving? It's probably isn't an animal. I have no idea. Oh, hey, what are we looking at here? Here, there, on your right. Oh, that is just a ton of debris. If you is have it? a look, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not crocs. They're not crocs. <laughs> Brendan's picking out all the uh, the debris yeah, coming I out of the. Uh, in front of me, I look up and there's something moving in the water. I was just wondering. Oh geez. All right, here ripping one out now. Toll Freight Express 22, Sydney to Melbourne, 737 400 Classic. Second last departure that I am aware of on tonight's show. Hey, Beacon Plays, having a great That's night tonight. Fine. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, Samil Bandari is here. G'day, Samil. Welcome back to the live show tonight. Uh, love, excuse me, lovely to have your company. Henry, did I miss any A380s? Yes, we had a few A380s on the show tonight. Looks like sharks, Andrew Chen. <laughs> You'd be worried if it was a croc, though. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course we would be worried if it was a croc. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have any more movements on 1-6 left. I think we're done. One more movement to come that I'm aware of. Corner 73.45 is the A330 service to Melbourne tonight. Just pushing back from Bay 1 as we speak. We'll be at the Alpha 1 holding point for a departure real soon. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think after the A330 departs, I think that that might be it for us out here. Hey, Kurt, you know what I saw earlier? What uh, did you see on the tarmac? Mass Cargo. Maz Cargo. Yeah, I haven't seen that one for a while. Uh, were they departing tonight? No, this mor uh, or this morning. Or this afternoon. Ah, fair enough. Saw it getting loaded. I haven't seen that one for a while. Tony McKenzie's here. Hey, Kurt, and the live stream with mods. Another awesome stream. Uh, cheers. Uh, good on you, Tony. Uh, thank you for that, mate. Ah, well done. The OPT Farm and ATC saying, uh, Sid Squad, hello, everyone. Great present tonight for my birthday. A Sid Squad stream. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. Thanks, mates. Oh, hang on. David Cowper is saying that we've got three 146 arrivals in the next 25 minutes. Um, right. But they will be... <clears throat> if they're... Okay, so JEDEX 7481 is the first to come in. JEDEX 7334... Uh, 7434, rather, coming in from Gold Coast as well is in the mixer. And it looks like 7484 as well coming in from Adelaide. Um, yeah, if they're landing 1-6 right, though, not really much action down here for us, which is a shame. Yeah, I can um, see uh, the 7481 service. That's uh, Miles Harrison's away. <laughs> yeah. I can see it from here, though, but it's Hello, Miles Hello, Leanne Hurst, Evening Curt and Sid Squad team. How are you there? Hopefully you're doing well. Brian Svensson is uh, also still there in the chat. Lovely to have you, you, all of your company here hanging out with us tonight. And, uh, yeah, Matt Anton, absolutely, the uh, the squid squad. <laughs> 
Johnny Big Mac is here. G'day, Johnny Big Mac. Uh, yeah, so for those of you asking about the 16 Canal, you need to go onto Google Maps and you need to look up Tempe Recreational, what is it called? Uh, Tempe Recreation Reserve. And um, if you park there, you can walk uh, along the shared cycleway pathway, uh, which will take you to the 16 Canal. It's a public accessible pathway there. It's probably about a five minute walk and you'll, you'll be able to get access to those, to those views down uh, runway 16 right. So Johnny Big Mac, hopefully that helps. And uh, yeah, then you'll be you'll be looking straight down to the uh, to the to the Johnny Big Kicker, the Johnny Big Mac Kicker. <laughs> Robert M is here, evening curtain crew. G'day, Robert M. Hello there. Hello. Hopefully you're doing well. Vincent is out the door. Good night, Sid Squad. Thanks for the stream tonight. It's my pleasure. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate you being here tonight. And uh, Penguin Gaming enjoying the uh, the show tonight. Bit of a uh, a bit of a different show. A bit of a short one sure, as well. Um, one uh, one that we normally wouldn't really feature from this location. But because the winds were a bit calm, it was a bit hard to pick where the best spot would be. Two, zero, six, and four, uh, three, four, 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 remain on the ground. Brendan and I decided to do a bit of a road trip tonight and come out and uh, just have a have a look see from uh, down here at the uh, the rock jetty. And uh, this is actually a really, really good and peaceful place to come for a, yeah. a, a morning stream. A little bit backlit, but um, you can imagine what it's like out here during the day. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just beautiful, you know, all the way down here. This here is the uh, – well, you can't see on the screen, but I'm just pointing for, uh, for the, back, the back, <laughs> backstage crew here. Uh, the beach, the dog beach just behind us. It's actually it's, really – It's a lovely beach. You'll see it on the way out tomorrow, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no worries, Johnny. Ah, oh, Brian SFO is there in the chat as well. Hello, Brian. Welcome to the show. Um, Travis McMullen. Good night, Kurt and Brendan. Thanks for a great show. Oh, it's a pleasure. Good night. We we are actually. Two zero six two Kurt, direct to Shell Harbour, not above one thousand five hundred. Envis, report ready for departure. Oh, Slava. We are actually going to see a four burner depart too. Quanta seventy four nineteen is is going to be departing, uh, and we're also going to see that A three thirty depart. So. Um, Two, two departures to come, which is uh, good news for us. Special message uh, back in from our, our newest SIT Squad uh, member here, Michael Zatini. Stay warm, fellas. Have a good night, everyone, uh, with a couple of smiles here, dropping in a three. Yeah, Michael, when you passed, I don't know if you remember, I, I, I had just my shirt on. Um, well, I had more than that. Um, but I, um, I'm now, I've now got the puffer. I've now got the puffer. I think you guys left the, uh, the rock wall at the right time because it dropped a couple of degrees in this particular location and uh, got really really fresh so um yeah you guys have a have a great night as well and uh yeah thanks for hanging out really kind of you to drop in a couple of uh donations on the uh, on the on the show tonight as well which is uh which is very generous so thank you very much <laughs> have a good night guys and uh, how about that the scanner battery is just uh disintegrating at the uh, the pointy end of the the show here tonight Oh, we're going to have two A330s, Brendo. Are we? Yeah, we're going to have two Qantas A330s come out. So yeah, one that's, that's the just one that popped I saw up. before. Yeah, so Qantas awesome. 7523 going to Auckland. So we're going to have a service to Melbourne, and we're also going to have a service to Auckland. So two heavy departures oh, still to come. That? So don't Ladies go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. And then we've got our we've got our four burner as well. All right, so one of those uh, 146 is now coming into land. The A330 now coming across in just a second. The first of the two heavy departures out the door tonight. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> So that was the Australia Post uh, A330. The uh, the next A330 to come across will be the Qantas Freight uh, livery A330, which is Qantas 7523, which has pushed back as we speak. And um, 
Well, I think we're going to we're going to get a couple of four burners out the door in uh, in in quick succession here, Brendan. So, yep. I, I'm not ready to turn the camera off just yet. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Kurt. Sounds, Sounds good, good to, you. to me. <laughs> the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Yeah, they're a little bit far away from here, but at least we get a really good, clear view of their rotations, which is just brilliant. So, uh, fantastic. TG saying that the uh, the Friday night stream was awesome. Uh, ADHD show. <laughs> it, it was a great. It was a great show. It was. It was. It was. It was certainly one of those shows that. Um, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go down uh, in the uh, in the record books for uh, for for a long time to come. I tell you, it was uh, it was a great show. So we're just waiting now for. Oh, here we go. Uh, a one four six. Will it roll through? Will it roll through? I don't know if we'll see it. No. Uh, yeah, we've got a one four six. It's just rolling through now. This one landed one six right just a moment ago. There we go. We got a nice, nice to see a four burner that's going to turn off here in front of us as well. Yeah, David Cowper. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a sniff for hanging out for a couple of more four, four burner arrivals here. It's uh, really nice. You, you can't see a lot there, Scotty, but at least on the big on the screen here, you can see. <laughs> it's kind of like cheating, isn't it? Yeah, it looks cool. Both angles. We do not get these in New Zealand. So um, a three thirty to come, and I think two one four sixes to come as well. A couple of four burners. Getting us up there nicely to the uh, to the top of the hour at 10:54 p.m. as we uh, as we currently see it. And uh, Brian Bruce has just uh, come in with another message. And uh, come on, my friend, you really need to toughen up your skin, Kurt. It's not that cold there. Just ribbing you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you'll keep. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We're not used to we're not used to these uh, these temperatures, Brian. You know. <laughs> Here's a uh, nice little close-up view into the uh, the control tower tonight, without the uh, the wind uh, smashing the uh, the tripod about, which is quite handy. Having a look into the cab there and. Uh, Couple of heads working away. Connor seventy five twenty three, Sydney to Auckland, A three thirty two hundred has pushed back behind them. If you're playing at home on flight radar, there's a uh, Qantas 7419 uh, BAE 146 Ford Burner. I think that has actually, um, he's coming out as well, uh, but he's not moving at this point because Qantas 7523 is, um, is, uh, is blocking the path along taxiway alpha there. Carl Green is here, hello. Welcome to the Sid Squad show tonight. Nice to have your company. Brian Svensson getting in there with the uh, <laughs> ATC emojis in the chat. Good on you, Brian. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, we, uh, we do love our friends up there in the tower, although we've turned them off because our scanner battery's dying which is a, uh, a huge shame. So a little bit unprepared for uh, this particular location. <laughs> couple of cables missing, couple of extra batteries. I thought the scanner might last, but it didn't. Never mind. So at least, at least one, at least one aircraft, one heavy aircraft to come, the uh, 7523 service. And uh, and then one of uh, one of the one four six variants, the four burners. And uh, if we have a look, we have a look to see. We've got 
We do have a 146 on downwind. Yeah, uh, I just see it over yeah, there. Yeah, there it is there. It's, oh, it's uh, Harrison's. Yeah, it's uh, making its way. Uh, that looks looks like it's going to be landing 1-6 right, actually. Yeah, it looks that way. Well, actually, it might land 1-6. Might land, uh, uh, sorry, 3-4 right, rather, I should say. It'll be interesting to see if it actually takes runway left or right. So I'll be, I'll be staying for that to, to have a, well, a look. The one in from Adelaide... Looks like it's going three four as well. Yeah, so I don't know how they're going to slot them in. If we're st if we're going to be running parallels um, with the uh, with the curfew, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that when he gets on to final approach to see which runway they've they've actually allocated uh, for the arrival. Uh, Carl, yes, I I could. Although the uh, the ATC would be delayed, um, and I don't know. Well, let me have a look. It'll be about thirty seconds delayed, to be honest with you. We can try to patch it in and see if it works. We uh, have a, uh, a message coming in now from Brad, and he's uh, dropped in a ah, uh, oh, he's dropped in the, uh, the the YouTube page for uh, for little Noah who was on the show this morning uh, on Tim's show. So there you go. Uh, if you're uh, if you're able to go and uh, yeah go and give Noah a bit of a uh, a bit of a uh, bit of love, that'd be great. Yeah, he come down to the show t uh, this morning and hung out. Oh, that was quite loud for me, but I don't know if that went... I don't know if... Whoa. No, it's... Tell you what, it's taken a, a while for the uh, corner 75 uh, 23 to get out there at Alpha 1. Local time now is 11 p.m. Curfew has started, which is indica indicative on the screen there uh, that we can see. And um, uh, these guys did have their, well, would have had their taxi clearance before top of the hour, given the, uh, the size of the aircraft and the category. So um, they uh, will be a -OK to depart from that end. Still having a look at those two 146s uh, arriving. Uh, you know what, David Cowper, we're, uh, given the fact that uh, they will be coming in from runway 34, it actually makes more sense for us to enjoy their, their landings from this perspective, which is great. Uh, so Jetex 7434 in from the Gold Coast is still on downwind. Wow, it's a long downwind. Jetex 7484 coming in from Adelaide. Might actually come in first, Brendan. And uh, I, they might even slot them both in on runway 34 left. I can't even see the one in from Gold Coast. Yeah, so, go. so this is the thing. We're going to have two 146s coming in before our Qantas A330 departs, I believe. Um, so I, I suspect that the, the heavy that's up the northern end of the field, the A330-200, uh, will be waiting for the arrival of uh, both of these 146 aircraft. Um, and then um, well, the I see, uh, sorry, I see the one in from Adelaide. He's all the way down, uh, just behind us there. Can yeah, I... that'll be the close one. And looks like it's probably going to get the jump. Uh, till you're ready for departure. Uh, rescue two zero four, we're ready for departure. Uh, yeah. Rescue two zero four, squawk zero five zero three, remain on the ground. Zero five zero three, remain on the ground. Rescue two zero four. Yeah, so if you're playing at home on flight radar, we've got um, two aircraft inbound 
on a 3-4 direction and that will prevent any departures taking off the main north-south runway. Wow, it is so quiet out here tonight. Yeah. It is really peaceful out here tonight. We're almost fall asleep. <laughs> All you can hear is just Kurt and Brendan just chirping away. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Yoo this guy. Uh, a couple of uh, the cars out there doing uh, the um, the runway inspections on the uh, the main north south runway in between the movements now here at. Uh, so we, we're the curfew. The curfew has started. So what that means now is all the rivals will be coming in over the bay from a southern, uh, from the south, I should say, landing in a three-four direction, and all of the departures will take off to the south from the north in a one-six direction. So they're going to use the same runway. So anyone that's depart and that well and, if, and effectively they're going to be using the same airspace. So the departures can't go until those aircraft coming in are clear of the airspace and have landed. We've got two one four sixes arriving, so two four burners coming through, and um, it looks like we're slotting them both in on runway three four left at this stage. I think uh, one after the other. And then once those two 146s are in, then we should see a couple of departures. First of all, it's either the, either one of the 146s that was, was ready to go or uh, Qantas 7523, the, uh, the A3 A3-3200 service, uh, which is ready to depart at Alpha 1, which is right up the northern end of the field, and it's departing to Auckland tonight. I've just seen another 146 pop up on radar to go to Melbourne, 72, sorry, 7293. So th there's potentially two or three 146s up the northern end that are departing soon. So there's every chance we could see a couple of them come across our screen. But let's, um, we'll take stock uh, once, we'll take Brendan Stockton. <laughs> uh, you like that one? Once, <laughs> once these two 146s, which are now on screen, uh, once they've landed here at uh, runway 34 left and they've vacated, It'll be interesting to see uh, which aircrafts are going to be departing first. Lady Cat's here in the chat. Hello, Lady Cat. Welcome. Kirsten Mills in the chat, too. Oh, hello, Kirsten. Big shout out to uh, all the moderators there uh, today. It's so lovely to have all of your company. And, and it is really important that we give recognition to those people that uh, spend, uh, obviously, their free time to be with us here on the show to look after the chat. And uh, obviously, we, we wouldn't be able to do these shows without their company and their support. So a big, big special shout out to... Uh, we've got many of the moderators there in the chat tonight. And uh, thank you so much for being here, as always. And uh, really, really do appreciate your support. And uh, so go give some love to the moderators there. Uh, do a fantastic job. And uh, thank you, guys. Was Radio still here? Was isn't it past your bedtime, mate? <laughs> 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 and uh, Alco DL fifty three one is out the door as well. His curfew has arrived, so he's got to go. <laughs> See you, mate. See you, buddy. Thank you for hanging out with us. So what's happening with this A330, Kurt? Well, it is waiting to depart because we've got two aircraft that are landing. So as I, as I just mentioned, the, uh, the two aircraft that are on screen right now are coming in to land on the main uh, runway because we're in curfew operations. They use the same runway, uh, but we can't have any takeoffs going out over the suburbs um, uh, after 11 p.m. And uh, all of the landings uh, are coming in over the water as well. Runway 34 left, clear to land. We land 34 left, left on the box dot, JEDEX 7484. Okay, so JEDEX 7484 is the first of the BAE 146s ready to land here. Clear to land and a, um, a fast roll through all the way to Foxtrot, which is. Um, the reason now, this is interesting. The reason why they've given this aircraft a really long roll through is it is not by it staying on the runway a little bit longer. It is not affecting the departure of the A330 because we've still got another 146 coming in anyway behind it. Mm. So there's no urgency for it to get off the runway apart from clearing it before the second 146 comes in, of course. But uh, happy enough for them to have a roll through all the way down to Foxtrot, which is pretty much right up the uh, the end of the field 
uh, in front of, um, say, the, the car park viewing spot there. Um, and and a, great, a great spot for it to just vacate the runway there to the left and then not very far to taxi to its bay. Um, so uh, it's, it, everything has a reason. Oh yeah. So here we go. This is the the first of the uh, the two one four sixes that we'll see landing now uh, before the show is out the door tonight. And uh, just keeping an eye on uh, the the show there for you, Brendan. So we uh, make sure that uh, we, we you're looked after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can get out of here. Um, no commitments. I think we'll see that 3.30 go, and then uh, I think that might be it for, uh, for the Sitscott show. Okay, cool. So uh, what we've just heard there is air traffic control are shortening the runway, which is typical for, for the 146 operations after curfew. Uh, Bravo 8 is uh, the, the entrance point to the, uh, to the runway for departures uh, moving forward. The A330 will still depart full length uh, from Alpha 1, and that will be the, um, the last full length uh, departure on, the, on uh, uh, tonight. And now, once that departure has taken place, uh, I suspect it'll go first before the uh, the 146, which is up the northern end of the field, uh, will depart. And uh, it's currently taxing down to uh, a Bravo 8, uh, which is an intersection departure on runway 16 right. So there we go, the, uh, the first of two four burners coming across our screens here before the show is out the door tonight. And uh, currently uh, got a nice little roll through all the way down to Foxtrot. They'll keep up the speed, but they've got plenty of time because uh, the next aircraft's still a couple of miles away. We've got a message now coming in from uh, Liz Berger. Welcome to the Bondi Beach Cabana. Hello, Liz. How are you there tonight? Lovely to have your company. And, uh, thank you for uh, seeing value in the membership and putting yourself up there. Uh, welcome. Second of the uh, the 146 is now on screen, just there to the middle of the screen to the right, and uh, we'll be coming into land, runway 34 left. Was Radio is out the door. Only Planes Network is here. Curfew seems nice and calm tonight. Maybe it's the lack of external mic. <laughs> Hopefully you're well, Kurt. Um, yes, uh, uh, hello there to, uh, to James and, and to, to Matt. Uh, I don't know which one of maybe I don't know which one of of you guys is on the uh, the old OPN network handle tonight, but uh, thank you guys for being here today. And uh, yeah, well, I mean, we're past curfew, so we saw all the heavies go. Um, it was a bit of a late start to the show, so um, perhaps uh, some of the uh, earlier movements were already gone anyway. Um, but it is, and, and from this location, I guess the, other, the only other downside is you don't see any of the ramp action. So we don't get to see any of the, uh, the movements that's taking place. So yeah, we're, we're filling in gaps quite nicely, but uh, it is a little bit of a calmer show and uh, that's okay, a little bit different. It's nice and quiet. It is very quiet, very isn't it? Quiet, and very yeah. still out here. Very still. But um, as mentioned earlier, if, if you didn't catch it uh, earlier, we, we, we've only got about five to eight knots of wind uh, here tonight, and it's probably even less right now. Uh, I don't know what our wind indicator is saying. It's saying four knots, okay. So uh, she's pretty calm. Now, we had one six uh, directions uh, earlier. And then around 8 p.m. it flipped around to sod props, which is three, four left and one six left departures. So it was a bit, it was a bit of a, a hard one to pick to know where the best place to go to see all the action. Um, and uh, I wanted to do something just a little bit different tonight. It was only a short show, so it uh, wasn't going to be uh, too much impact. And I uh, said, you know what, we're going on a road trip to the, uh, to the mascot rock jetty and we're going to say hello to our fisherman friends. And you know what, if, if all else failed, we gain one new subscriber tonight in uh, our good fisherman friend, Michael, <laughs> <laughs> who walked past us and uh, was intrigued about what uh, we were actually doing out here. And uh, so that was pretty interesting. It was a lot of fun. 
Here we go. The uh, the second of the one four sixes, the uh, the four burners coming in from the Gold Coast Jet X seventy four thirty four finals short finals now pretty much over the fence we'll be over the keys in a minute runway three four left and uh once this aircraft has vacated expect to see a Qantas a330 the Qantas freight livery freighter departing runway one six right and uh and then we will be departing as well places to be <laughs> people to see oh look at that you get a great view of the other uh, spoiler out the back there from uh, the silhouette magic <laughs> the moderators love a quiet show <laughs> yeah I can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. Oh, geez, that's brilliant. All right. So now all the uh, all the uh, attention just uh, we'll, we'll just flick on down to the left hand side of the uh, the screen here because, uh, well, I mean it, uh, it it should be the A330. So let's see where we are. Six twenty four thirty four on Alpha Cross runway two five and taxi to Bay three Bravo. On Alpha Cross 25 and uh, on Alpha 2 International 3 Bravo, thanks. 74, 34. Red Sea on Fox Rock Cross, runway 6 right via Bravo to Bay 3. Fox Rock Cross, runway 6 right via Bravo to Bay 3. Red Sierra. Quad of 75, 23, line up and wait, runway 1 6 right. Quad of wait, uh, runway 1 6 right. Alright, so A330 time. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it. This is going to be the final movement on tonight's show. Got to get Brendan home. <laughs> Unless Brendan wants to see a 146 burner departure from Bravo 8. The, um, the call is his. <laughs> but the uh, the A330 will uh, will see us off tonight, which is uh, uh, which is fantastic. A great, a great, uh, a great way, to, a great one to end on, perhaps. Although you know there is that that four burner is that Bravo Eight. It is ready to go. So I suspect once the three thirty goes, it'll go pretty quickly after it. Yeah. So maybe we'll maybe we'll just maybe we'll just just one more. Just one Fine. more. Fine. One six right, clear for takeoff. Runway one six right, clear for takeoff. On the seventy five twenty three. Okay, here we go. The uh, 330 uh, Qantas Freight now cleared for takeoff. Uh, runway <laughs> one six right. Adam Spencer loves the low battery beep. All right, I'll keep it on for you, mate. <laughs> here we go. Send it. Yeah, send it. Where are your, your predictions for rotation? Are we talking about uh, control Wait, tower or after uh, control tower? Because it's going to Auckland tonight, so yep. it's a bit of an interesting one. It will uh, be going after control tower. Not two weeks. Mark my words. Oh, okay. Mark your words. <laughs> 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 yeah, Blue Dog Ten and uh, like the guys up there, Only Planes Network. We're all in the same time zone again. We're back. We're back. I was going to say you guys are back to normal. <laughs> For us, normality is having daylight savings. We've never known any different, and we love it. <laughs> All right, where is this A330? Now, spooling up hard and fast down run one, one six right. I think I just saw it go past, Kurt. Uh, just oh, yeah, in the, from yeah, in there. From yeah, I know where you're talking. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Bum, bum. <laughs> Yeah, nicely done. Well, it got up, got up earlier than we all expected, didn't it, Brendan? Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Never mind. Well, you know what's going to be really hard to predict is going to be this 146 rotation, actually, that's uh, coming up now. Well, seeing that everyone uh, wants to depart before the control <laughs> tower, I'll go before <laughs> control tower. Brendan Scott wants to hear the closing tunes already. <laughs> you want to, you want to hear, you want to hear some uh, some tunes out the door. Is that right? Oh uh, well, I mean, if you want to, Kip, <laughs> you've got it. Let's, let's hear it. Oh jeez. Departures one two three decimal zero. 
All right, all right. We we can we can play some background music. We've, Let's go. We've, we've got some nice tunes. Yes, well, uh, I will say it has been a wonderful, wonderful uh, show, albeit short and albeit a little bit different for your viewing pleasure tonight. But it's always a good, it's always a good time hanging out here together. Whenever we can open the uh, the Sid Squad camera door and uh, let you guys in, and uh, we we just love showing off our airport here down under at uh, at Sydney. So I'm glad that you've come out and hung out with us. And uh, whether you've got us up there on your second monitors, whether you've got us on your mobile phones there, or whether you're at home, whether you're in the office, it doesn't matter where you are. It's always lovely to have your company. And uh, we've really, really enjoyed it. Now, I am hoping we get this 146 departure coming our way really, really soon because um, uh, that would be... I don't think I've got... We haven't got an arrival, I don't think. So, uh, Quanta 7325 is now out the door. So, that clears a pathway for some more departures now. And, uh, yeah, next to go should be uh, one of the uh, 146s. So, we'll keep an eye out and uh, we'll see them go. Uh, head on over to sidsquad.com.au. Check out our uh, our webpage there. Uh, go, go in and get involved in uh, some of the merchandise if you're that way inclined and if you're able to. Never any obligation, of course. But uh, we'd love your support if you're able to. And uh, next live stream um, uh, was going to be tomorrow. For those of you who have just tuned in now, um, it, it was going to be tomorrow with Tim, but Tim has been called in for, for, for overtime with work, and that is absolutely a priority here at, at Sid Squad. We, we do these live shows uh, just in our in our spare time, um, and uh, but obviously family and work and uh, those priorities definitely will come first. Um, so Tim is unfortunately unable to pull together a show for tomorrow. I am unable either as well. Uh, work is, uh, work is uh, thick uh, at, at the moment, which is great, which is great. That's the way we like it. Uh, but you never know. We'll try and get another show out the door before the weekend, and then, you know, then the weekend's another beast. So stand by uh, for some more live streams coming to you really, really soon. But I tell you what, what was the highlight of tonight's show? We're seeing the, uh, the water police go and collect oh, the yeah. dinghy. Oh, yeah. How about that? Big shout out to Heather for, uh, for, for getting amongst it there and, uh, calling the, uh, the coast guard who then, who then let the police know to go out and pick up the dinghy that Sid squad spotted. How about <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the community works. What a great community we, we've got here at Sid squad. We, we love each and every one of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. It's uh, Oh, they're doing the runway inspection at the moment. Gosh, yeah, yeah. we're waiting for Quanta 7293. It's going to Melbourne. It's a 146. It's at Bravo H. It's the shortened runway. I'm actually wondering if we can see it from here. There it is. There we go. We've got it. It's moving into the, uh, the prime position for departure here at Bravo 8. Magic. Magic scenes. Wow, we actually can see Bravo 8. So we've got the entire runway in our vision from this point. We've got the entire runway from the south to the north. <laughs> What's this curfew business? I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> Expect this aircraft to turn left. Yes, it does. You know what, David, David Cowper, we ended up seeing every every uh, arrival of the 146s that you called out. <laughs> Can you believe it? Too funny. Pan Jin, see you next time. All right, here we go. Final movement now on tonight's live show. Let's go. Big shout out to uh, Scotty Miller, who's standing next to us as well, who's going back to New Zealand tomorrow. Mate, thanks for being here again tonight. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself. Ah, oh, it's great news. Oh, beautiful, beautiful scenes. I don't want to go, Brendan. No, I don't want to go. Mate, I tell you. I don't want to go. Neither do I, mate. Even with this music. Oh, okay. Let's enjoy it a bit more then.
you know, I was, I was kind of hoping for uh, one more of those one four sixes to make it up there to the uh, to the Bravo Eight um, <laughs> <laughs> holding point for departure. But I don't think I don't think there is one coming up. I, I swear I saw them on radar uh, pr- about 15, 20 minutes ago. I saw them pop up. I'm sure they're taxing. <laughs> I'm just I'm like holding out for one more. Like the other night, and then one did come, but um, I don't think we're going to get that one more tonight. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. There's always many more streams. There are many more streams. Oh, geez, geez, get that. I was a bit close there. <laughs> uh, well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're done. We've, we've, we've come to the end of the, the live stream show here tonight at uh, Sydney Airport, and uh, thanks for hanging out. We've still got almost 800 people still well. tuned in. I thought there'd only be about four or five, to be honest. Oh, but, well. um, people, that is, not 500. <laughs> Appreciate um, you all. Yeah, absolutely. We always appreciate everyone being here on the Sid Squad Live Show. If you haven't already, don't forget to give uh, the show a bit of a thumbs up. It always, um, you know, builds the community as best we can. And um, also, if you haven't already, perhaps consider subscribing to the channel. It's free to do. It's the freest way to support Sid Squad. And uh, we always love your support. So, But that's it. We've already wrapped up all the... Uh, all the uh, all of it. We've done our pleasantries and we've done our formalities. And uh, so that's about it. We're going to leave you with one more track and uh, some beautiful scenes here at Botany Bay tonight. And uh, that's it. I'm, uh, my name is Kurt and... Brendan. And we got... Say again. Scott. 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 Safe <laughs> travels back Zealand. to New Zealand, yeah. mate. Yeah. Safe yeah. travels back to New Zealand tomorrow. And enjoy the tripler. Enjoy the tripler. Oh. Next time you're in, make sure you come and find us and say hello. I think we had some internet issues there, but uh, I don't know what you saw and what you didn't see. But uh, if if you didn't hear me say good night and thanks for being here, uh, I will just say it one more time. A special shout out to everybody tuning into the live show tonight, whether you dropped in a super chat or a uh, a membership renewal or we're just hanging out with us there. And uh, we really, really do appreciate your support and your company as always. And uh, just keep your eyes on the notifications regarding when Sid Squad is going live next. And we can't wait to have your company on the next live show. And uh, so look after yourselves, take care. And uh, that's it for us here. We're signing off and uh, we'll see you very, 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 very soon, no doubt. And uh, much love to you all for hanging out with us. So uh, all the very best and we'll catch you soon. Bye for now.